Okay, so the Childish Gambino a few weeks back was played. This is America. This is America, yes. And Zach was hopeful. You were hopeful that it would last long as far as for its potency and meaning, right, in the context. Right. So what do you think how it's held now? Uh, I think it's been distorted in terms of message. Because as we remember, what the message was, was uh, after every shootout, there is always going to be the distraction to take us off course. And to know and behold that, like, this was one of the distractions. This was a meme. This was something where, like, we like to, like, grab a part of the music video and then sync it with another uh, song and then make a <laughs> practical joke. It kind of ruined the message in that way. But it's still fun. Like, it was still fun to look at. And uh, he's up to 160 million views. Uh, before we go to Jay, and I'll cl I'll close out the question. What are your thoughts on those video memes where they overlay it with other people's music? They're hilarious. Hilarious. Okay. And I think that's why it's just like it's okay for that type of culture to appreciate it and to make fun of it. Okay. Yeah. How about you, Jay? What do you think about the memes? Uh, I I the video memes. I, I loved them. I mean, I thought they were they were funny as hell. Um, I didn't foresee that obviously but it's it's it par for the par for the era see uh before you guys even stated your opinion i was thinking dude this is terrible because there's a meaning behind this song yeah and you guys are just completely making something so deep so shallow mm -hmm. but i guess at this point being live in the moment for the camera for you guys I just have to learn that, hey, man, that's just part of being on the Internet. <laughs> huh? Yeah. What is yeah, that? man. Is that it? Were you the one that said it? The Internet's undefeated? Well, I think I, we've all said it to some met way. Yeah. You know, so. Do you have a particular version of it? Well, what that I you, said. That you liked or enjoyed more <laughs> guiltily? Uh, there was a Spanish one. <laughs> like a Despacito or something like that. Right. Because it just felt so like, <laughs> oh no, some young, per well, I don't even know if it's young or old, but definitely some guy goes, yeah, this works well, or girl, goes with Despacito. So, uh, <laughs> never mind the Jim Crow, Guada Guada dance, <laughs> the tide of black people being oppressed. Let me just sink it to Despacito. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I was really angry before I asked you guys the question, though. Uh, no, I get it. But in the moment now, live, I have to understand that that's going to be utilized by people. But is that also not helping it in terms of, like, what my original point was, was, like, I think it's going to, like go on for a quite long time where like you guys thought it was going to be forgotten by the weekend. Like at least like this is increasing the impact of it. Right. But in the context of what childish Gambino was trying to say, right. This is not the context of what childish Gambino is trying to say. And you know what? After he put that video out, I mean, I heard Charlemagne, um, Charlemagne, the God talking about it. And it was a, it was a, um, kind of the, his, his opinion was that, this is stuff that, as I guess, you know, for him as a black person, it's something you knew already. So it wasn't really as deep. And, you know, he didn't, I guess for him too, he didn't like that it was Childish Gambino being the shooter when really, like, you know, I guess specifically the choir scene. Sure. Um, you know, it was a white shooter. He wanted to be, he wanted to be a little bit more literal or at least point out the fact that this was done by white people. Um, you know, and so it was kind of like, I guess, I don't know, for, for us, when we saw it, it was like, whoa, this is heavy, this is deep, but maybe for, you know, not, not to say that it, there's, they don't think it's deep or heavy, but maybe it's like, oh, this is just so much. We've, we've seen this story told so many times. Well, I think my opinion on, um, what's his name? Which MC said that out of the record? Uh, Charlemagne. Charlemagne. It was Charlemagne the God. I think he's missing the point that the artist is showing sure. what took place. It doesn't have to be so accurate because then you have to be accurate about, uh, you know, Trayvon Martin's dad. Yeah. You have to be accurate about, like, who gets shot. So I, I know what he, what, what he meant. Yeah. It's like you have to show and depict and be literal and precise 
that it was a white person who shot, you know, the victims in Charlotte. Yeah. Charlottesville? Charlotte. Charlottesville. 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 South Carolina. I mean, because he's yeah, from there. South Carolina. Right. So I guess, I guess it was really more of a personal. Right. So, I mean, I think that's a lot because you want to intersperse someone else, but it's for the continuity sake of the yeah, video. Totally. That's what it was. Uh, I personally feel, Zach, it didn't last as long, the meaning. I think. And, and, and it's not an issue of you're correct, I'm correct. It's an issue of. What you desired is for the meaning to be prolonged. Right. And if I recall correctly, Jay and I were, were thinking, like, oh, it's going to be done in a week. No, yeah. I, I think, especially since uh, the Houston shooting at Santa Fe High was not that long ago, I saw so many, this is America, this is America. Like, this is, like, it was kind of, like, point, pointing back to a bookmark of a book or, like, the chapter we le- just left off. So it's, like... This will now be the anthem of like the same thing where like Kendrick Lamar had that. Um, it's gonna be all right. Yeah, it's gonna be all right. Like this is that version of it when it talks about gun shooting and violence that's happening in America. Mm. You know what's interesting too is people never really gave Kendrick Lamar that much shit about like being blood oh, affiliated. Right. But then again, we didn't give shit about Snoop. Yeah. Being yeah. crip related. Right. So. But I, I felt like you were gonna say something. And I cut you off. No, no. I was, the only thing that I had come came, that came to mind was that I mean, I guess for Childish Gambino, his um, his album sales or you know views and whatnot went nice up one. Co- um, considerably, like four hundred percent in the last you know week since uh, the video came out. So I mean, somebody's benefiting from it. <laughs> like um, like he said, sixty five million views. Um, and and total of all of his songs in that period was a hundred and hundred and two point seven million clicks on childish Gambino songs. I, I always mention that, and good for him. It's kind of like how stand ups they do podcasts for free, but it's a hub for them to create noise. Yeah, right. Uh, I was trying to. I, I told the story incompletely to a co- to my cousins, but I was mentioning to you guys. Uh, this is America is a video. Or a song that really you need the video with to explain. Yeah. Like Raul Campos was playing it on KCRW yeah. 89.9 out here in Los Angeles. And the ironic thing is I was trying to explain it to my brother and I had to go like, well, in the video, this is where he had a Jim Crow pose. Mm-hmm. Well, in the video, a post-apocalyptic or apocalyptic horse is running, mm-hmm. you know, but because he did it in that trap method to be modern. Yeah. You know, it wasn't really the message content is, driven as far as for lyrical poetry. Yeah. How often have you watched or how long, how often have you heard a song that you loved and you're like, man, I want to watch the music video of this. And you see the music video and the music video ruins it for you. Yeah. And in this case, uh, it, it happens quite a bit. 90s hip hop. Sure. You know, so like everyone had like a. VCR cam, <laughs> You're right? Kind of thing. <laughs> it's so Where cheap. You put looking. in a VHS tape. Yeah. yeah, or like even like I know you liked eighties rock back in the day. Sure. Like how freaking like just wet, overplayed and over dramatic a lot of the music videos were. It's like, are you trying to do a concert or are you trying to do a story? Like, <laughs> sure. what's going on here? So. Right. So, but but the video is a case, or the song is a case where the video really helped it. Yeah. Because yeah. if the song came out first on radio and then you saw the video. I don't know how much play it would get because for me, I saw the video first, then mm. heard it on the radio. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I think it, it dropped at the same time, so that was the thing. And I, I, the thing, the, the artist that came to mind too is Kendrick. You know, it's like his song came out last last year, and um, you know, the video came out also, but you don't really need the video to appreciate the song as much, even though the video just enhances it. Like you know, correct. Yeah. It's it uh, one was song, video. Uh, in this case, for Childish Gambino, this is America. Video made the song premiere. Yep. Yeah. And what Jay is in reference to is Kendrick Lamar's. Wh- which song was it? Uh, either loyalty oh, or sure. Yeah. Sure. Let's uh, let's just use loyalty. Loyalty can be appreciated on its own. Yeah. And then the video will, you know, oh, yeah. compliments it, gift wraps the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but societally though. Because Jay and I were, and, and correct me if, if this wasn't your opinion, Jay and I were in the position where it's like, 
Dude, that topic is going to be done in a week. Do you kind of see how something significant and relevant and really powerful kind of ended? Or do you still feel like it's still relevant to the context of what Childish can be? I think I was just being young and optimistic and full of hope. Yeah. And just to see, like, you you guys were right in the sense of, like, it won't last, but, like, the meaning of that message was distorted. And like you said, I mean, the Houston shooting just happened, and they do point to it, but I don't think it it really has that weight where it's like, you know, we, we, when we first saw it, it's like, whoa, this is just some eye-opening stuff. And there's all this detail, but no one, like, they talked about it for, like, the first week or so or whatever, and then after that, it's like, okay. It's maybe because we're also having to do with uh, how much violence is happening in America. Maybe it's because we're becoming traumatized. To a lot or of desensitized. Desensitized, that's what I meant. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, we're becoming desensitized to a lot of the stuff that's happening that's just like maybe with this type of information, it's no different from a lot of the quotes or like a lot of the posts that we see on Facebook when another shooting happened. I, I feel both very great points, but to add to that, the attention is gone for cross-generationally. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Next. And it's not just... Whoever is consuming the internet, the attention span is gone. Yeah. If you're involved in, into the internet, it's gone. Yeah. It's gone. I, I was hopeful that you were correct. I, I really was, but I don't know if it will carry weight the way like Citizen Kane was that valuable <laughs> a movie. Roots. The way Roots. Or, or, or you know what? If you're a sci-fi guy, and I know you, you'll hate this point, like Star Wars. Yeah. Yeah. The Godfather series. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, or whatever favorite Woody Allen movie that brought you to that type of entertainment. So I guess that's the point. Would you would you guys agree just to close out this topic? Yeah. Uh, Attention spans gone. And for broadcasters, programmers and news people prepare for the next. What? (laughs) Oh, (laughs) that was a part of the show. Sorry. (laughs) No, no, no. It's supposed to be a little bit more witty, but. It was in context of asking a question, and if you forgot the question, then Zach's attention span was gone. <laughs> it's like a V8 machine. It's like a Hemi engine, this chemistry, huh? <laughs> it's like a straight six Dodge Dart. Ready to ruin the fucking ozone. <laughs> Fuckery. <laughs>